Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at blogspot.com and I am here with a Christmas in July uh, scrapbook layout. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but um, you know, summer, family, kids. So it's a pretty busy summer. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off with, I'm using this paper pack for my layout today. It's from the paper studio called Christmas or Ornamental Christmas. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, what we're doing is a really quick, simple layout today. So I don't have a background to this. It's just going to be this 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a create a center border. Um, usually you see borders that are vertical or horizontal, but they'll be like on the edge of the paper or the bottom of the page. I'm going to put mine three quarters of the way down. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm just gonna jump right in on this and I just gotta check. Okay so I'm gonna use my zip dry glue and hopefully it doesn't break on me. The last time I used this, th it's this bottle but this tip came right off into the red cap. So I'm just trying to make it through here. Okay, so what I did is I took a piece of the cardstock that's in that set, cut it down to, I think it was four and a half inches, I can measure it again in a second, and then added the border, page borders, now that you, the edge, I forget what they're called, it's been so long. This thing from Martha Stewart. Border punch. That's what I did. So I did that on the top and then the bottom. I'm hoping to get it even here. It looks about even. Okay, so then what I did is I cut out the words to the world. And you'll see in a second why I did that. And I'm just going to place these right here on the bottom that and I'm gonna use my zig to a glue pen and my little tweezers and go ahead and get that adhered. Um, I just used it in my silhouette cameo just cut it out chose a font that was cursive and then I or cursive looking and then I welded it together so it would be one or three easy cuts instead of trying to get all of the letters, you know, lined up. I like to make crafting simple. And this is the simplest way I could find to do it. So that's what I'm going with. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to have three photo mats, and this would be good for a three and a quarter by three and a quarter picture. I'm going to do my best again to line them up evenly. I'm going to measure this for you too. Okay, so I went ahead and just went, layered these. So my Green mat is three and a half inches by three and a half inches, and then my white is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, or no, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm gonna stand up. Sorry if you see my jammies. I'm crafting in my jammies today. So I'm in a hurry to get you guys a, a video. I wanna, don't want to waste time, you know, getting dressed and all that jazz. Just hurry and do it so I can get you guys a video. Because I've been telling you on Facebook that I'm going to make one, I'm going to make one, and then this happens and that happens, so I'm just trying to do my best here. not exactly lined up how I wanted it, but so 
think it's pretty even, or about as even as I can get it. Okay, so here we go, and then for my main focus is these three little bears that say Joy, and that's why I did To the World. And then they're not even done, not done with them. I still have to ink them up and do their eyes. But I can do all that after I get this video recorded, which I want to do before my husband gets home. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adhering them, and then I can do, I can jazz them all up right here on my layout. And these little guys are from Scrapping Bug Designs, and they've been out for probably at least a year. So last Christmas, if not that, it would be the Christmas before. They're still on their website, I just checked. They haven't retired it yet. Um, and I believe it's $5.50, I think. I'm not sure if she has a sale going on right now or not, but okay, so I just cut them out real quick with my cameo. Ooh. And the great thing about the zip dry glue is you can wipe it off. Just rub it, especially once it dries and it comes right off so you can't even see your little mistakes or whatever. Which I will get that all rubbed off. But pretty much done. So this is a very quick Christmas in July scrapbook layout for all my YouTube followers. I'm sorry for the delay. But I'll be around here and there. Um, I always post projects to my Facebook page. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's Creative Cricut Designs on Facebook. And then also I open up an eBay store and my seller name is My Little Scrapbook Haven. So if you want to check that out or order any of my stuff, um, that's where you can find me. So I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.